Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you can say that this is for the next seven days, okay? So right now it's the 12th, right? So seven days would be to the 18th, 19th, 19th. Okay, but the timing is fluid. So whenever you watch it, say if you watch this on the 15th, I'd be like the, what, the 22nd? Anyhow, timing is fluid. So the next seven days, all right? This card just flew out. If I can even hold on to it. Throne, position of authority. So it feels like you're in a position of authority during this time. Let's get another one. I feel like there's some sort of wish that is being granted. This is my second Capricorn reading. I decided to do it again, um, but I feel like there's a wish that's being granted, just saying. Career, so there's something to do with your career. There may be some change in your career. I feel like it's positive, I don't know though. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So that doesn't mean that it's a sexual situation. This is this is having tea, okay? It's having, it doesn't have to be tea, it's like, it's deepening a bond with somebody the same sex as you. It's a friendship, a friendship, okay? So you may be deepening a bond with somebody of, you know, that's the same gender as you, you know, and you're becoming really good friends. It looks like you're becoming really good friends with somebody. Um, maybe you're making, meeting a new friend. It's not somebody of the opposite gender, okay? And sometimes it's our friends that we need at our darkest moments, okay? I'm not saying you're in a dark moment, but it came out of my mouth. Anyhow, what are we, and it could even be, could even be a family member. I mean, it could be a parent, could be a sibling. Messenger, messenger, that just flew out of the deck. Something to do with the messenger, you may, Maybe this friend or whoever it is has a message for you or you're gonna get a message through Messenger that is very prominent. Could be Facebook Messenger or Snapchat Messenger or any other type of Messenger. Something about Messenger. There's a message that is coming, put it that way. Those too many. Mm. The end, the end. This is the end of a story. I mean, when you see that, it's the end. This is like the end of a story, right? So there is something that is coming to an end. I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Angel protection. I, I, you may have had this one before, I'm not sure. You have some sort of angel protection here. You are in a position of authority. Something significant is ending. It's a big ending. You know, that's like the rolling credits, right? The ending credits. Okay, something is coming to an end. It's big. I know that it is. What do we have for Capricorn? Sorry. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh. Boom. Shaka laka laka boom. Okie dokie. So, tower, we all know what this is. This is a fated event, right? This is a fated event. It is a shock. It is massive disruption. This is where the ending is coming from. This is a necessary evil. This is a false foundation or a false sense of security that has crumbled or is crumbling right now. Okay? This is major destruction. It is. This is this somebody losing their crown, losing their head maybe. You know, so it feels like, I mean, we could have somebody here that is exploding. Something is exploding. We do have a transformation here. We notice the butterflies. So th you're going through a major transformation. Light is being shed. All that is unstable is falling apart. Anything that is unstable and insecure is, is being removed. The universe is in control. No choice. There's no choice but to rebuild someplace else. You have no choice.
whatever it looks like it's a darn beautiful transformation to me i think this is the most beautiful tower card i have ever seen in my life seriously look at the look at the flowers look at the blossoms look at the butterflies it's a beautiful transformation so you are going through some sort of transformation this is like flying it is it's like flying um it's time for me to fly it's time for me to fly but there's a crown here as well so and then we have position of authority so maybe it's like you're you're gaining you're gonna be put in a position of authority or you're gaining authority because what all that is false is crumbling around you major disruption of a foundation there's no you're forced as a forced ending it's right next to the end card see we have a forced ending you forced to move on forced to go someplace else forced there's force the tower card is forced forced there's no choice you can't it's false it's lies there's no choice there's no choice it's over it's over it's over something is over whatever is over it's something beautiful coming out of it um you think about that butterfly it goes from you know the caterpillar to through the chrysalis to the beautiful outcome you know so yeah whatever is happening i feel like it's darn beautiful but it is faded this is a faded event it's a major life change it's massive it may be uncomfortable. You may be you may be feeling uncomfortable. Could be a change in a living situation with that tower card. Could be a change in your body, you know, your own foundation, your your body, which is a foundation. This is a disruption of some sort. It's either a disruption in your job, a disruption in your body, or a disruption in your relationship. It's, in a disru disru it's a disruption in something that you have built up in an insecure manner, or unstable manner. It's not stable, it's not secure, and now it's about to crumble. And a lot of you are going to say, it's already happened. It looks like it's in the future to me. I'm just being honest. It's over here. It's not over there. Okay, it's, it's coming. I don't think it's over yet, okay? No, you like living delusion. Oh, it's already happened. Most of the time we have, you know, to me, things happen. Boom, 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 boom. It's not just one boom. It's kind of like an earthquake. There's usually little aftershocks. Boom, 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 boom. So and there may be some aftershocks, you know, boom, 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 boom. Interesting. I keep on saying boom, 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 boom. Um, so I don't think it's over yet. No. The marrying maiden. Now, I think Aries got this as well. And I have to... Actually, the Tower card is an Aries card. A lot of people uh, equate it with uh, Aquarius, but it's actually ruled by Mars. And Mars is Aries. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius, which is Uranus, which is also this also Uranus card, but whatever. Um, it's, it's, and Aries is Mars, which is fight, war, battle. Um, be battle ready, be ready. There could probably, and this is my second Capricorn reading. So I'm wondering if you're fighting with somebody and the tower is certainly could be a fight, you know, major disruption, dismantling of false sense of security, boom, explosion. Somebody explodes, they flip out, they lose their head. You know, they, they you know, and I mean, they lose their head and they can't control their, and I mean, it's like, it's like can't control their mind and, you know, that kind of thing. Anyhow, Marian Maiden, compromising situation, <laughs> subordination, succumbing to seduction, manipulation, low self-esteem. So I do feel if you are a masculine watching this, you, are, you have a woman around that is uh, very, very manipulative. This person is manipulative. They may use their body or their, their uh, ways to trap you. I think that you need to be careful if you are, uh, if, that this is, this is a woman that is using her her uh, body, it looks like to me, to control. I think that you are going to be in a compromising situation. 
I do. I think that you are going to be in a compromising situation. Now, remember, this is the next seven days. So let's get a couple of these. What do we have for Capcorn? Light is being shed on something that is unstable, unclear. It's been hidden behind those walls. Something has been hidden. It's been able to be hidden up until now. There's going to be a disruption. There's going to be like an explosion. Somebody's going to lose it. I feel like they're going to lose it. They can't keep up with the facade. I do feel like you're going to be shocked. Okay, there's a shock that is coming. For some of you, I'm going to change the story. I mean, we do have a shock, which is a surprise. Maybe you've been in a situation where uh, you've been waiting for something new. You've been waiting for a new life because you think of the, the butterfly, which transforms. You've been waiting. You've been waiting. I think you're going to be put in a compromising situation this week no matter what. You're going to be shocked. Something is going to happen. This is a faded event and you're going to be shocked. And it's going to end a cycle in your life. If you have been hanging on to a false sense of security, whatever is happening is going to help you to release it. And that's exactly what this is. Okay, so this is the story. If you have been hanging on to something that is false, it's going to end this week. You may find somebody that you're going to marry. Maybe you've been involved with somebody or married to somebody that was very seductive and uh, manipulative, and that's coming to an end. You know, there's always several stories. Um, anyway, what do we have? Ooh, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is somebody that's looking for love. This is courting, wooing, uh, approaching, making an offer, making a proposal. This is, a, this is some sort of advance. So I do believe that you are going to be approached. Somebody may be um, courting you or you're going to be courting somebody. This is looking for love, looking for love, expression of love or flirting. Could be even be flirting, dating, getting to know somebody. Ooh, King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now this is action. So you're, you've got somebody around you that is about to take some action. There could be some feelings. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. They're going to be acting on feelings, taking charge. Somebody's going to be taking charge. This is a visionary. This is also somebody that is very creative. You may even have a business owner here, somebody that has their own business, somebody that is a creator. A Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. This is somebody that is creative, uh, business oriented, also very emotional. This person is a lover, it looks to me. They're very passionate. They have deep desires, very intuitive. You have a very intuitive person here. Um, that is looking for a relationship. Look, has, this person is very experienced, has a lot of life experience, natural born leader. You do have a natural born leader here. Three of, three of coins reversed. Three of coins reverses lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness, lack of respect, not working well with others. We got somebody here that is not working well with others. There may be even a boss here that is making some sort of decision. Maybe it's about a third party situation or they're not, something isn't working out. I mean, the king of wands, this could be a boss. Definitely expressing feelings. There's going to be an expression of feelings. Now, there could be a change in a living situation. It could be a change in a work situation. Whatever is happening, we have somebody here that is taking charge. They are very intuitive. Something isn't working out. There's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of togetherness. Magician definitely taking action. This is somebody who does something to bring success. It's not working out. Something isn't working out. 
three of coins reverse that's that's a lack of teamwork but the magician uh, does whatever it takes to bring success maybe there's been a lack of communication or maybe somebody has been indecisive with the three threes in reverse threes in the upright are a definite decision but I wish I could go back or I'm not happy with the decision that I made somebody may be unhappy with the decision that they made to work with somebody and they want to and they want to they wish that they didn't anyway the magician reversed I mean the magician upright is taking action as above so below this is somebody that is very skilled, very creative, that believes. They have the divine connection. They have a connection here. They are about to take control, taking charge, being focused, gaining. We got somebody here that is regaining focus. Maybe it's you. Taking charge, not working with somebody who doesn't respect you. You may be letting go of somebody that doesn't respect you. You're definitely dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you. Maybe it's, I don't know if it's on the home front or in the work arena. Feels like it's the work arena at this point, but I could be wrong. We have career over here, so your career may be affected. But I feel like you have a divine, a divine connection to source. I feel like you have some sort of creative ability. I feel like you are creating a better future for yourself. It's like you're calling it in. Your wish is being granted. It's interesting because I saw that in the other way, in the other one too. A wish being granted. We had we had wish granted. The card wish granted. So, and this is as above. You get, so below you get what you ask for. I feel like you've been asking. Maybe you've been asking for love. Maybe you had your heart set on something that was false, and the universe protected you from that for a reason. And they're bringing you something better. And that is what I saw in the other reading. Anyway, as above, so below. You have to be willing to shed the old, to bring in the new. You have to believe. You have to use all your resources. You have the resources to create the life that you want. And you are in the process of creating it. The answer is yes. You're going to get what you asked for. But it may not be in the uh, package that you envisioned it to be in. Somebody is about to do something. They're about to create something. They're about to get it. They're, they're, your connection. You're getting something that you asked for. I know that you are. Ooh. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is about reunions. It's about love. Um... It's about the past. I mean, the Six of Cups is all about nostalgia, memories of love. This could be even reawakened memories of love. Remembering what love feels like. So you may be, you may be starting to remember what fe love feels like. Thinking, thinking about the past. You're really thinking about the disrespect. You're thinking about, because I put it right next to the three of coins reversed. That's memories. Thinking about the disrespect. Thinking about the past. Remember, your thoughts become things. And I think that because you're thinking about how love is, you're manifesting love. Okay, all you have to do is think about it. You think about when things were good, okay? You think about when things were good with whoever, even though it was false, you're thinking about it. Your thoughts are manifesting with that magician card. You're manifesting love right now. You have, with the Knight of Cups, you are manifesting love right now. It's like you're calling in. You're calling in something. Your memories and your thinking about the past, thinking about what it felt like, thinking about the love is calling in somebody. It's not the past, though. It's, I don't think it is. I feel like you do have an admirer here. I do. Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Let's get another one. King of Wands. Ace of Swords reversed. Emperor reversed. And then the Seven of Swords and reversed on the bottom. So, so somebody's like uh, not telling the truth. Ace of Swords reversed as well. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be a Taurus. We have, because I consider the Emperor either a Taurus or an Aries. 
You also have Gemini here. Anyhow, the Emperor in reverse is very controlling energy. Deserts you in the time of need. This is somebody that is corrupt, that only looks out for themselves. Somebody in your past. You got somebody from the past that is a narcissist. Somebody in the past that you were connected to in the past that is a narcissist. This person did not treat you fairly. They disrespected you. They tried to control you. They tried to manipulate you. They tried to abuse their power over you. They had control over you. They did. This person may have, you know, scared you with fear, you know. Um, very controlling energy. You have some, because the, the Emperor reversed is connected to the Six of Cups, which is the past. You have, a, you, have a, you have somebody in the past that was very manipulative next to the Magician, which is manipulation. Master manipulator here. You have been manipulated by somebody. This person uh, is very, very cunning, extremely clever. Um, deserted you in your time of need. Uh, was only looking out for number one. Um, very inexperienced. You got somebody here that's very inexperienced, um, not telling the truth. Maybe this person hasn't been telling the truth, lying. You're definitely dealing with, dealing with a liar. They try to manipulate, pathological liar. I feel like in the past you've dealt with a pathological liar. Um, this person is still lying. They're lying about something. Um, but this is getting caught or coming clean with the Seven of Swords reverse. Somebody's about to get caught in their lies. Or they're about to come clean. Um, we have we have an abuse of power here. We really, really, really do. Somebody's trying to manipulate you. They're trying to control you. And I think the fear, you need to not be scared, okay? Don't let fear cripple you, okay? It's all false. This person really does not have any power over you. They do not. It's all in your mind. Remember that. It's all in your mind. Nobody has power over you. Nobody. Seven of Swords reverse. I feel like we have somebody here that um, is going to be taking a new approach. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. I feel like you're in a position of authority. I think that you're gaining. I think that you've been unclear about this narcissist. I feel like you've been holding on, hoping that things were going to change. But it's been lies. It's been all faults from the beginning. Nothing's going to change. You can't. If it's been unstable from day one, if it's been insecure from day one, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Um. I feel like somebody is going to be coming back around that. Uh, may have missed an opportunity with you. And this, and I don't think it's the ex. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel, I feel like you have more than one person here. I feel like there is somebody that missed an opportunity with you. Or you missed an opportunity with somebody. I feel like things are about to change. Or maybe you've just been guarding yourself from love, but there is an there is there is there is an opportunity for love here. There absolutely is. There is somebody that has not been communicating. They have not been really communicating, or they've been keeping a secret, or they they have been a, in a place of their own ego. Maybe they were holding on to the past. Action is now about to be taken. So there's some sort of action that is about to be taken. Somebody is about to, to do something. They are about to create something. They believe that it's that they can. This is somebody that is very um, has a lot of faith. They have faith in themselves. High, 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 high confidence. But there's been some sort of lack of communication here. This person was. Uh, Maybe cowardly. They were too much of a coward to step forward. Because this is cowardly behavior. Mm. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I turned the heat on. So, heat, heat. I don't know why I did because I was cold. Something about the heat. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Remember, every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. 
expression of feelings being courted. Somebody is going to be flirting with somebody pretty passionately. I feel like there's passionate flirting here. It could be even falling in love with somebody. Somebody that you are very, very familiar with, but it's not the one that manipulated you. It's not. Because that was false. That was a false sense of security. That's over. That's over. That's over. I feel like whoever you're dealing with now, is, they may be inexperienced. They may be inexperienced. They may be... Um, unsure they're unclear of what they really want so whoever you're dealing with is unclear they're unclear of what they want and that's the other person okay you have a couple different people here we have a false sense of security that it's over with and you have another opportunity here um, with somebody that I feel like there's been a delay with this person because of the past okay I think I got that out now. Nine of coins. Nine of coins is a very self-sufficient individual that is enjoying their life. You know, very capable, very solid, very stable, hardworking. So we have a hardworking, independent person. This could be an, a business owner or somebody that is just very, very abundant that has built up their abundance on their own. So this is a successful person. Could even be an entrepreneur. Um, living a good life. So we have somebody here that is in the process. They're living a good life, but they're calling in. We have an independent person right next to the magician. I clarify the magician. That is a direct connection to source. That's thoughts, okay? The magician uses their thoughts to create. So we do have somebody here that is creating their own abundance. They're creating an, their own success. So we definitely have a successful independent person here. We have somebody here that is, is using, and that these pentacles are manifestation. Somebody is manifesting something. You know, it's like they're very much focused on their self. They've been focusing on themselves, but while they've been focusing on themselves, they, it's almost like their thoughts have been manifesting. So your thoughts are definitely manifesting something. They're manifesting love, of, and maybe you're not even asking for it. You've been deserted. You've been desert, deserted in your time of need. Something to do with a father figure. <laughs> lack of, or there's a lack of fathering in, a, in somebody's life. Ace of Swords reverse. Lack of clarity. Not telling the truth. Action is being taken. Somebody's about to do something very, very passionate. Um, there's a passionate new beginning here. There is. And, and it's interesting that I said somebody missed an opportunity. I shuffled that I realized I stopped myself. Fool reversed is a missed opportunity. So somebody has, there's some sort of unfinished business here. There's unfinished business. Somebody has done something stupid, you know, and I feel like it's not working out where they're at. They're about to take action. Somebody sees something of value in you. They see your capability. They see your skills. They see your ability to persevere through hardship. Four of coins. Four of coins is about security and stability. I do believe that we have somebody here that is, 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 has been holding on to something for... Uh, stability reasons or they've been not giving because they were worried worried that they weren't going to get in return we have somebody here that has been resisting change thinking about making an offer towards you i do think that you're about to get an offer get the five of coins in reversed on the bottom this is a turning point if you have been neglected and feeling alone we do have a turning point here you have a solid stable offer that is coming your way this leads, this is something secure, something you can take to the bank. It's something that you can hold on to. 
Good luck.